Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, Crypto Fever, another quick crypto video. Uh, this morning we can see the markets are pumping, which is good. We're making money, but uh, I think it's good to just keep our eyes on the prize. But, uh, you know, we're still early in this thing. Yesterday, this market was at $249 billion, So you can see what we've just come up in the past day. That's incredible. Bitcoin got... Uh, I believe it passed 8,900. Uh, XRP has been over 42 cents all day. Holochain is getting close to its all-time high. And a quick little uh, mention here is Holochain was created after the last bull market. So we've never really seen what this crypto can do in a bull run. So that's something kind of exciting. You know, the bull, the bull market is early on and we're already getting close to the all-time high with the hot token. So Ken's looking good as well. Today's video is mostly going to be about uh, XRP and Ripple. Um, I'll just get right into it. BitTrue, the uh, crypto trading exchange, has added more than 25 XRP trading pairs. And folks, this is going to be very important when it comes to uh, a bull market. We're going to have lots of liquidity, lots of ins and outs. And this is just one exchange, but here's 25 different ways we can cash out of our XRP. Um, <laughs> I think this is just awesome. But like I said, this is just one exchange. Um, and we can see how far we've come with the XRP, you know, pairs being added on hundreds of exchanges since the last bull run. Uh, we've got this kind of a radical price prediction. <laughs> uh, I don't like doing price predictions, but man, this one just felt so good to read. Um, the bearable bull. <laughs> This article's on today's Gazette, blockchain, blockchain news. Anyway, it's talking about uh, Ripple XRP seeing 5 to $10 within a month and as much as $1,200 as soon as at the end of 2019. And this is just, I know it's a little extreme, but they're talking about the global adoption of XRP and what it really means for the digital asset. So the sky really is the limit, <laughs> but uh, I don't know if it'll hit those numbers in that amount of time. Uh, call me crazy, but I really do believe we'll... Oops, sorry. Got a little pop up here. I really do believe we'll have a $1,200 XRP token eventually. Um, but yeah, that was... I just want to share that article. We've got banks flirting with XRP adoption. Siam Commercial Bank, it's one of the biggest banks in Thailand. They're using XCurrent, which is one of Ripple's products. It's been referred to as uh, uh, Swift 2.0. So it's, it's an upgrade from Swift but it doesn't utilize the XRP token. But something to remember, uh, Ripple has set it up with their latest upgrade that all of their RippleNet customers can utilize XRapid whenever they want. So if we see a huge bank talking about how they're using XCurrent, but down here it says, wait for further announcement as far as XRP, all that means is that's coming soon. So that's pretty big. Um, just to have them as a partner and have them with access to sending payments through XRP is pretty big. Then we got MoneyNet International is going on the record for the first time about enterprise adoption of XRP. So we were talking about this the other day. The foreign exchange market is a market that I knew was going to 
utilize XRP. They're going to want that on demand liquidity and all the other uh, aspects of their business. They're going to flourish using this technology. And I thought that that was pretty impressive. So anyway, that's what I had for today. There's actually a lot more bullish news. Uh, you know, when you go on Twitter, you can see how uh, investment perspectives uh, back up Bradley on Twitter. He's talking about how 3.4 billion volume in just a few hours on XRP. Um, anyway, I would go recommend following him. He's very informative. He does live streams every day. I watch them myself. Um, anyway, you, you go on on any of these news outlets and you're going to find so many uh, great examples of bullish news on XRP and some of these other cryptocurrencies that I'm talking about on a daily basis. But I'm trying to keep my videos under 10 minutes. So anyway, I hope everyone has a great Sunday. And I will see you tomorrow. And as a reminder, I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research. Have a good day.